About a year and a half ago, uh, mid-June 2016, I had a head-on collision. A series of catastrophic injuries occurred when my car crashed into another car. And yeah, I went to St. Mike's and stayed there for darn close to four months, and I was in a bit of a coma for a couple weeks. It's kind of like being a bit pregnant. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I was in a coma. I broke my neck. I got really severely injured. And so I wasn't sure kind of what life was going to mean for me. Just like my friends at Festo, I was doing a change management, actually transition learning and leadership workshop. Um, I've been going through transition because I was a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I loved to grapple. I was a submission fighter at a pretty high level. I actually won the world championships at some point in my career as an athlete. Saved my life. Then I crashed my car and was so severely injured did lead to my demise completely. I mean, I got broken up bad, but I did not die because I was extremely fit. I'm a pretty intense person, and I use some of that intensity in a sporting context. Since I've come back out of the hospital, I'm back to coaching jiu-jitsu, coaching wrestling, working out like a madman. I work out a lot, and I'm feeling pretty strong. I'm just not going to be a submission fighter anymore. So I've re-channeled that energy, that intensity, that passion, that commitment to making a difference in your business. Give me a call. We'll do something together. And we won't grapple. I promise. I just want to say that uh, you've been very extraordinary and, um, and, we're, and we're in your own life. You know, the serious mm -hmm. incident you had a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. and it's been like... Uh, and yet you still volunteer with a local football team mm -hmm. or a distress center. Our cash, uh, the, uh, canvasser for cash, mm -hmm. even though I know you have difficulty at yeah, times. Getting around. <laughs> getting around. And cash is our cancer assistance program here in Halton Hills and uh, also for heart and stroke, yeah. which that tells me you're a very remarkable person that uh, despite what happened to you, that you're still positive and, uh, and that's an inspiration that you're still positive being near death yourself with, uh, with a uh, motor collision, a car collision being, and yet you're still going out volunteering in the community and still being very positive and, uh, and I think that uh, as I said is an inspiration and that emulates to anybody that take your safe talk. Well thanks. Yeah. Well as your mother said, the alternative is worse. That's right.